Hello, my name is Jonathan McClellan. I'm president of the Minnesota Justice Coalition. We are part of a collective of organizations that work with the community and families to draft and advance legislation and other policy initiatives at the Capitol in St. Paul and in Washington, D.C. Once again, America has showed that the First Amendment has no meaning. And this jury declared open season on the First Amendment. And what could be more egregious is a sitting judge being allowed to put his hand on the scales of justice, allowing his bias to taint a jury. We demand the federal government intervene and charge Kyle Rittenhouse with the federal violations for his actions, and also ask the Wisconsin Attorney General to recharge Kyle with underage possession of a firearm. Yes. We are in a state of affairs of our quest to obtain justice and equality, with Kenosha now being ground zero of the match that has sparked this outpouring of consciousness for our shared community. We are still here waiting to cash that check that has fallen on a bankrupt system of expedient politicians, administrators, and tolerant allies of the same in opposition to progress for a more perfect union. For far too long, we have been victims of this plague, and we're here to say no more. No more to the policies that divide us based on our diversity. No more to the policies that break up families of color. No more to hashtags. No more to the policies that put all the eggs in the basket of white imperialism while paying lip service to our communities of color and our never-ending fight for justice. No more to the boots of our, on our necks of our children, our brothers and sisters, our uncles, our fathers, our nieces and nephews, our friends. They argue for division. They promote through their actions or lack thereof a distorted reality that places one class of people over the other and fails to see the humanity and all that is sacred under God. They turn their back to the promise that all men are created equal and have been endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights. The right to life. The right to life. The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are not asking for a handout. We want your boot off our neck. We want a fair shot. And this includes in the court. We want a level playing field and not a hill we have to climb and fight with one hand tied behind our back or a knee in our neck and a gun to our head or the head of our children. The system is broken. And the one branch of government that justice is supposed to flow has showed their cards to the world. Shame on you. While I was in Kenosha yesterday, there was a man holding the only sign supporting Kyle Rittenhouse. While engaging in discussion with others, he said, it is a great day for the Second Amendment. I turned to him and said, at the expense of what? Because the last time I checked, the First Amendment came before the Second. Once again, we ask the federal government to intervene, and we ask that Kyle Rittenhouse be charged, and that justice flow like a never-ending stream. Thank you.